Okay, so in this video I want to do an example uh, using Hooke's Law, but I just want to I just want to discuss this again because I said something in the previous video that this k, the spring constant, which is the stiffness, is equal to the slope here. Okay, now that's not technically true. It is the inverse of the slope. Now the reason why I said that was because most diagrams where I've seen force and displacement have the force along the vertical axis and the the, dis the displacement along the horizontal axis. When you have the force along the vertical and the displacement along the horizontal then it is the spring constant is the slope of this line. But the way that they've got it is they've inverted the axes, so your k is the inverse of the slope. So please take note of that. So I, uh, I just want to talk a little bit more about this, because I think this is quite helpful. So I want to do this example, but just ignore this for now. So I'm in red now. So uh, uh, say now we have a spring. I'm just going to repeat what we've seen. There's, there's a spring, beautiful spring. There's its relaxed position, x0, and uh, up is positive and down is negative. So if I stretch this, okay, um, if I stretch this, then I'm applying an upward force, and if I compress it, I'm applying a downward force. Okay, nothing, nothing uh, new there. So I would like to rather write um, or draw the axis like this. F, um, let's call it applied. So this is F on spring. This is the force being applied to the spring. And this is your X minus X zero. Um, what does this mean? Um, this is a positive force above. Uh, uh, if we look over here, this is a positive force, meaning it's an upward force. And any forces that are applied down here are compressive forces and um, to the right we have a stretch meaning x minus x zero is positive okay so remember that that is your x your x and or that could be your x okay so if x minus x zero is positive then it's a stretch if it's negative then it's a compression okay and based on if you apply a force to a spring, you're going to see this, right? Meaning if we apply an upward force, it's going to stretch it. If we apply a downward compressive force, it's going to compress. There's going to be a negative. Okay, I think that is uh, pretty clear. And the important thing here then is that this applied force is given by uh, let's call it FA, is given by K, X minus X, zero. And K in this case is the slope. K is the slope of this line. Okay, in the previous one we had F over here and X minus X zero along this axis. Then it's the inverse of that line. But in this case, I've, uh, I've got the applied force in the vertical and the displacement in the horizontal. So K is the slope. This is, is slope. Okay, how do you calculate the slope? Uh, delta F over delta, so, right, delta Y over delta X. Remember? It's the, okay. Now, this is the important part. Let's, um, what can we tell? How about green? Because it's right there. Now, Remember, this is the force that we apply to the spring. F on spring. This is the force on spring. What about the force of the spring? Remember that the force of the spring always wants to resist the applied force. So, if I am compressing the spring, the spring has got a negative displacement, but what is the spring force? The spring force is going to oppose any compression. And what happens if I'm stretching the spring? I'm applying a stretch. 
then the spring is going to want to restore. So we know, we saw that the F on spring is equal to the negative of the, the spring force. Okay, so the spring force is going to look something like this. Okay, so, so if there is a compression of the spring, if there's a compression of the spring, are you with me? If you, then the spring is going to apply a positive force. Can you see that? And if there's a stretching of the spring, if you stretch the spring, the spring is going to want to apply a negative force down. That's why you have this relationship for the spring force. Okay. So that's, uh, I hope that it's getting a bit clearer. So let's look at this example. Um, Maybe I'll do this example in the next video.